I know it's 4th of July. But you gotta turn that shit down and get ready for school. Oh, no school. <laughs> that's, that's, oh. right. that's right, man. D. No. All right, go back to whatever you were doing. False alarm. Hey, come on, everybody. It's July 5th. I know. Shake off that hangover. We got the Empress DeVoe in the house. Come on. She made it here. Late, but still great. No, I was on time. Late, but still great. <laughs> But she's fine. What can I say? Everybody, I know you feel kind of worn out after the 4th of July. It's a day to get ourselves back together. So come on, we're going to stretch today. That's right. We're going to do some pelvic thrusts. <laughs> well, some of us did ours. Come on, we're going to come on, get limber. You look good. Considering you were out all night. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Hey, check it out, you guys. Welcome to Morning Coffee. We are back from a barbecue weekend where pork, squirrel back, and rhino toes were on the menu. Man, I got a question for you, Vic. What is that? Is a pig's pussy pork? Oh, I'm not going to show. Oh, the Hell boy. yeah. I'll let the boat answer that one. I thought and it's man. good, too. Oh, it's oh, 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 the boat. Tell us about your weekend. Was it good? Yeah, I was hanging out. I was down by the beach. I was partying. Yeah, we can tell. All right, y'all. So get the stretch, y'all. It's time for morning coffee. Hey, we got a bunch of stuff to talk about today. First of all, about the 4th of July, getting ready for the summer. You know, we. hey, I got to tell you what's happening in Las Vegas because they got a whole lot of celebrity lookalikes and heroes on the beach. And check this out. I got some warnings about the beach. Oh. Yeah, it may not be all that cool, but we'll talk about that. Oh. Hey, I got some questions, too. Should women go topless? Yeah. And for the, that same question, should some of the men go topless? No. Because, you know, they got the man tits out there, too. Yeah. As you can see, it's going to be a wonderful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> wonderful day. Hey, we got some hot, hot Michael Jackson celebration videos. You know, the anniversary of his passing just went on the 25th of June. But there's some wonderful videos been coming out to celebrate my man, so we're going to share those with you today. And Vic, seven reasons why women cheat. Oh, I only need one. I know the first reason is Mario Hemsley. I only need one, man. <laughs> What's happening, everybody out there in the chat room? To all our friends all over cyberspace, you know what this is. This is the reality show that is the making and breaking of internet television. We are the makers and breakers of internet television, and we get together with you Monday through Wednesday to share our life and times with you. So grab hold of whatever you're having this morning. Get your juice, get your yogurt, get that fresh fruit, get that bran muffin. Whatever you're having, those illegal Cubans, those unfiltered camels, that badass Cali. Whatever you're sipping on, smoking on, baby. Come on and have it with us. Come on. Come on. Be cool. All right. Uh, okay. Everybody feels a little bit better. Um, yeah, I do. DeVoe, was you ready for that question about... Um, the pig. You know, he had to say something about the P word. You know what I mean? It's like... That means if a pig has a kitty cat, is it pork? A little kitty, little kitty. If a kid, little, little if a furry. Pig has a kitty cat, we need. I don't to go know how you know. Somehow I say things. Sometimes I say things in this show, and people seem to misunderstand me. Oh. I don't know what it is. I think it's I say it. Functional. That's. What I it say is. it in a way that is loving and kind. <laughs> and what can I say? This is the way. I am a just. This is just the way they treat a black man. When they treat a black oh, man in 2011. Your color. Hey, it's the way. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. <sighs> welcome, everybody. Happy July 5th. Happy July 5th. You made it through another <laughs> holiday. And thanks again to all the people. As it turns out, Saturday, July 2nd, was my 55th birthday. And now, for those of you who know me, know that I'm kind of, well, Let's just say, when strange. I'm off my meds. <laughs> he is definitely strange. <laughs> and so birthdays are hard for me. So I tend to hide out in the glow cave. Oh, but you weren't hiding this time. Well, I was you in the studio. Well, I came and we did a special yeah, broadcast. No hiding. We we had a, It was a crazy day. Thanks to DeVoe and Victor's uh, energies, we, I was able to get myself rolling. We did a special broadcast on Saturday. And right now, that's I posted on the Facebook it's, it's, it recently published last night, so you can go and watch the over two hour. It's over two hours. Birthday celebration, that's right. And mostly what it is is us playing old videos. Old. All original Mario Hemsley, Hemsley Foster Project music for the most part. And music of our friends. So we played some pieces by Victor, some pieces with DeVoe also. 
And so we showed the old uh, party, Christmas party from 1988. We showed some video clips from that. And we did a ton of shout outs to uh, all the people out there that I've been so bad at neglecting. You know, we're actually good good at neglecting them. Uh, <laughs> so I wanted to say that. I wanted them. to say that, you know. And <laughs> it's a lot of people. And, you know, you can't name them all, but I want to say thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, uh, Margot Smith, Celeste Parrish, Lorraine, Danielle Taylor, of course, Mama, <laughs> putting up with my stuff. Uh, Peter Rollins. These are not in order. You know, I just had some notes. Bobby Carson, Irv Foster, Don Xavier, Kristen Perry, Mr. Jack. Don Johnson, Zenobia Meredith, Carmen Denson, Renee Richard, Paul Bodice, Cortez Douglas, Valerie Johnson Page, Carol Cooper, others, so many of the folks, Edward Allman, uh, you know, Marvin Bernard, uh, the, the, who was the man at Howard University when I was a pre med. He was the pre med that we all wanted to be. See, this is what Facebook does. So it was a crazy weekend. I want to say thank you to all the people who reached out to me to make my birthday. I sort of kept it on the low, you know. Well, you know, kept I, in my, I, I stayed around here drinking mojitos. I don't know if I told you this, Victor, but I call <laughs> him 20 minutes to 8. Yeah. It's supposed to start at 8. I go, listen, I'm on my way. I'm going to make it. He goes, oh, my God. What time is it? <laughs> no. Oh, I wow. I it's just almost 8 o'clock. I'm yeah. like, Mario, are you really trying to do this? Yeah, he, well, pulled, I guess he, he I fooled will. himself on this one. You yeah. know what I mean? Got right to the minute. You know, like I said, a lot of us creative people are sensitive and weird. I am both. And I'm trying to, it's funny, it's, you, it's like I said on the show, it's so much easier to do things like this than to sometimes take care of the personal things that we need to. Uh, trying to do better. And just wanted to shout out, you know, all the people that we, you know, all our old Dog Olero buddies, Michael York <laughs> and Bobby Carson. What does Dog Olero mean? That means back when we would say... Why must I chase the cat? It must be the dog in me. <laughs> These are the fellas that was the dog with, with me. So uh, thanks, everybody. So that was part of my weekend. So that, and that was a big part of it. Then, of course, yesterday, the 4th of July. Man, I don't know about you guys, but in L.A., there, you know, I thought fireworks were illegal. I'm All I heard you. was pop, pop, pop all and night. big explosions pop, 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 coming pop, out of pop. people's backyards. I'm like, whoa, Man. that looks like a show itself. All night long. Pop, 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 pop. You know they canceled pop, pop. the fireworks down at Venice. No. Yes. Well, they had them everywhere else. You could, and I thought, you know, I almost went and bought some. But oh, I knew sure. I would get in trouble. That's oh. why I didn't buy any. Because in the old days when I bought fireworks, I did get in trouble. <laughs> when, I, when I was like 12 years old, I had a policy of having fireworks all year round. So when July 4th came around, I had saved up money to buy fireworks to last me the whole year. Because I needed to have smoke bombs in case stuff came up. What kind of stuff? I don't know. I was, I was a superhero when I was young. Oh. So I was prepared for all kinds of stuff. I was making all kind of... I would make stuff out of fireworks. Y'all huh? looking at me. See, you're one of them. Yes, I was one of them. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, but you know what? Kind of stuff can you make but you vote, you know, it, I have to say this. You know, when you go, <laughs> I start looking around, and as I look towards our south, our east, you know, fireworks are going buck wild. But when you go to the upper room class, you know, a little bit more civil. On the west side, the, you get one firecracker. Okay, let's go back in the house now. That's enough. <laughs> that was it. That, oh yeah. You don't get. You don't get it. They wasn't jumping off around here. Yeah, I'm well, sorry. you know, last... no, but you, but I can hear pop, pop, pop. I mean, one thing you did hear, I didn't see as much, you know, That's what I wanted the sky to rockets, but I, I heard pop, 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 yeah, pop, I wanted pop, to, pop, pop, all night long. He wants to hear pop, I want I'm to like, hear boom. Is that people shooting LC. guns <laughs> off or what the hell? <laughs> you know, I was just saying, I heard pop. How much, did you hear a lot of pops? Well, I was down by the beach looking for fireworks at Venice Beach, and there was nothing. I could have told you. Well, you didn't. Okay. Oh, I was oh, here. But you, you got tanned. You look good. That's a segue. Smooth. Yeah, I'm about to try she that good. Segue. She does, Pretty man. Good. She does. She looks hey, good. Hey. He, he, su he, yeah. shut, he shut you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look good, everybody. Yeah. All right. Next. Welcome, everybody. It's July 5th, like we said, Tuesday. Every week we have a slogan. The slogan this week is, Dissent is the highest form of patriotism. That's by Howard Zinn, the famous, famous uh, historian. Mm. Uh, Dissent is the highest form of patriotism. Now, what made you pull that? Because I'm a dissenter. <laughs> yes, I love the things that make up my country, even though I may not love the government. See, to me, loving the country ain't the same as loving the government. See, so I am a dissenter, and the July 4th makes me think of those things. And so, 
that's, you know, kind of what's on my mind. Now, let me tell you the stories for today, because we got a few things today. Remember, today, first of all, our, with our new format, we're actually supposed to be sharing more of our lives, because it's the reality that is internet television. All the people on this show are involved with the, the making of internet television. So part of what we're sharing with them is the reality of our struggle of internet <laughs> Whatever. Okay, you guys, here's some of my topics today. My, I got a whole story, this is a trip, about people. times are so hard in Nevada that people are hitting the sidewalks as celebrity and superhero lookalikes, posing with people oh. to make a, make money, right? Well, the hotels is clamping down on them, throwing them in, <laughs> trying to get them thrown in jail. Get out of here. So, so, let, so we're going to talk a little bit about the super... I don't know. Yes, right. And it's happening in Hollywood, too. Well, they make yeah. money in Hollywood. They're like, making I money. a couple of friends that are standing out there. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of the warnings about the beach. Is your beach safe? Oh, my God. Or are you are you swimming out there with some coliform bacteria? Oh, well, then By that, right. I mean some shiznit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we can talk about that. And then, of course, the topic that comes up every year. Should women go topless? Yes. And I added, oh, yeah. you think so? Yep. Well, I added on the additional question now because of all the wonderful man tits out there, including my own. And I wanted, I should, should men go topless? Because I don't know if I want you to see mine. Mine are sensitive. Very sensitive. Well, <laughs> well, what, should men oh, go topless? Or would oh, you prefer to see that member? Right. Think about it. Think of the men you know. You want them to wear a t-shirt? Or you want them to go bare chest? Wear an overcoat. <laughs> Hey, I was at a nudist beach. Really? Were you nude? No, I was Damn, wasn't. you got a photo. Of, damn, I would like to see <laughs> that. I'm still the trying to get those The people on the nudist beach did not have really good bodies. A lot of them had very oversized bodies. So it's That's not, what's saying. Two thirds of Americans are obese. So, you know, and, a, and, a, and kind of when you're looking at all of that jiggling, a lot of that stuff, I don't know. I went to the quiet. nude. It's That's, just. It's different. Well, it's I did different. too. I was at um, what was a hedonism? Oh, okay. I was in Jamaica too. Yeah, Jamaica, and they had. If I see another man over forty in a thong, <laughs> and then I don't need the to see some are shit. Bleeding out. And I don't need to the see some. Stomach is flapping a couple uh, of times. Over burned into your brain, Ooh. like those memories are burned into your mind, right? Forever. I think. People who are like that, as far as their weight and everything, are more confident than those they who are. They absolutely off, are. are, who are everybody closer. with tight bodies right. had who, bathing suits on, yeah. and everybody with a bunch of bellies were naked. Who, but I mean, right? Who complains the most? The ones who are in the industry trying to get perfect, never satisfied, never confident, and then everybody else is rolling out there going, "Hey, it is what it is." Right? Well, I am that's why I, I celebrate mine. My man tits. All right, we're going to talk about the top weekend box office winner. Uh, remember, I got those Michael Jackson videos. You guys are going to, I, I guarantee you guys, I if you stick around, right, if you stick around for the videos, I had to go find stuff that would not get us copyright flagged. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. uh, they're so, they watch us so close to you guys, which is flattering. Yeah. But uh, I got to show you some of these hot Michael Jackson uh, uh, memorial videos that are people made. Wow. Okay? And then seven reasons why women cheat. I only need one. Well, what about what about seventeen reasons why men cheat? I only need one. They only need. There's really one reason. <laughs> That's it. That's why men cheat. It's the same reason the every same. time, as I always have said. Wait a minute. What's the solution? Ask What's the better than good oh. kitty cat? Oh no! New good kitty cat. No. <laughs> Wait, the ball. The ball. You can return That's the, only the favor. Thing. You can return No matter the what, favor. you can't make it new. You can. Hey, devote. And you should and be really careful because I'm just a saying, lot of times you can't even handle the good kids. Oh. So now I, you're looking for I something new. I roll solo. Oh. I already told everybody. I know I'm all talk. I'm going on reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going purely on reputation right now. And hopefully that will get me far. You know, and the problem is with men, they don't even know how to satisfy the woman that they no, have. No, no. And as and you get older, you don't care. And now they're going to try to get another woman. <laughs> That's and now saying. he's got two and three women. He can't satisfy any That's the of young them. That's okay? the young ones. Okay? The young ones. Young, old, Because the old guys, middle, let's raise your hand. Men, you know, men, like raise your hand. You're trying to have all these no. different women, and you can't even keep it but up watch long this. enough. But but watch this. Devo. You know what I mean? Men over 45, raise your hand. How many of you really care about satisfying your Woman. Wow. <laughs> that is disgusting. What percent? What percent of men over 45 really care? Let your woman leave the room. Now, see, they will vote differently when their woman's in the room. Right. But yeah. let their woman get a bunch of men together 
over 45 and oh, ask them what percentage hey. of them actually give a shit. <laughs> Devon, I'm going to help you. Devon, I'm going to help what? you. 15%. All you got to say, you reverse the order. All you got to say is this. What's better than old limp D? Yeah. Just, that's all you no do. hard D. Oh, you want that? Better watch how you get a rash. You know what they say. Thank you, Victor. Old pussy makes you sick, and old men give you worms. Oh, as as Celeste used to say that. We're trying to get a younger crowd. Well, I'm just warning them because they need to know. So this is what we're talking about today because it's this is the stuff. Now wait, no, we're not. Birthday, and now we're talking about. (laughs) That's what it means on your birthday. You need to stop celebrating your birthday. Are you men over 45? I'm sorry about your penis. (laughs) Sorry. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. You, what? Think, wait a minute. I, I mean, Devo, I, I'm there. I understand. Devo, look at your screen, please. Look at your screen. And then c- please communicate the words that Mac and his sentiments. Oh, yeah, what you do? You ain't, you ain't in, you ain't get going in the main. <laughs> get in y'all. What kind of. I didn't know, realize that. I mean, Mario, you take so you much just of hit, my you hit new, Where you going? He's right here. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just saying, I was trying to get you the big print. I like this print. Are oh, you sure today? <laughs> you know, usually you like that big print. You know, I have to help Liar. Them. They do, I've never they do so much print. talking. They don't oh want to pay God. attention to the fan base. I mean, we got fans out there. Got Tell them what, They like to hear what they want to devote. Because she's fine. Everybody look at yeah, the vote. Everybody knows we were getting mail. Yeah. They would say, you look kind of luscious up here on the internet. <laughs> I said, damn. I know. I was editing the video. I said, damn. I, I had to take a break. <laughs> Go on, DeVoe. You can read it. It's okay. That last comment What's by the CNN. DeVoe, that's the, the skill at which she's in the Look chat that. room. She, read that's it. her chat time. room skill. Okay. Come on. You're slowing down our... Pre- the last time a woman satisfied me, Chief is asking, and he says, she made my car note for the month. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. You are I told a you. Mess, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. The last time, huh? She made my car note for a month. Woo, 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 woo. So, okay. Well, thank you. She's our, you know, she, when she's here, she's in the chat room. <laughs> right. So write little nasty messages to DeVoe. <laughs> and sign, can you sign in I'm as DeVoe, was, please? No, you do. I, I'm just. <laughs> log in as DeVoe. No. Instead, the last time you did that as Danny. I couldn't log in. There's log in. See the little sign right there? Log in. Will you just pay attention to your people Man, and talk to them? Man, that's why the chat room, me alone. they're trying to get some action out there in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vic, what about you this week, Vic? What do you got? What are we going to talk about? Hey, you know, it, it, for me, it's kind of like uh, doomsday when it comes to sports, man, because, you know, with the NBA and NFL lockout, we mm. need to follow the celebrities in reality TV, mm. walk and talk, but they won't let a cat in, so I have to turn around and just put it to you this way. I said, you know, bottom line, if, should we just keep going over the old superstars and just keep regurgitating them, or should we sit there and just talk about the lockout, or should we just say this? If there is a lockout in your favorite sports, which is basketball and football, which one could you survive with the most? In other words. What sport must we have? Mu- that's it. What sport? What sport do you survive with? Mm. One got to go, NBA or NFL. Muff diving. As I gotta continue have on, as I just like hair I'm pie. not trying to do the. Can't, I can't, can't some things I can't, I can't exclude from my diet. It's just not right. You yeah. know what? And there's some hot picks on the tablet here. I don't want them to get, you know, loss of this subject since you guys are having such a wonderful chemistry. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Everybody, it's that time. Like Vic said, it's time for chemistry. That's right, this is foreplay. Just a very few moments to seduce your mind. It's to who, what, where, when, and why. About Pack Stereo TV. Hey, do you understand the point of all this? No. The point of all this is that you, I, stars, all the people out there we know can have their own internet television channel. All they have to do is listen, listen to us. Listen to us and use this wonderful platform that I designed, damn it. <laughs> And we're going live on the major platforms right now. You thought, hey, why would we break, work so hard to bring you this show? It's because we're going live. It's to prove a point that people like you, me, all of us, we can have our own internet television channels because I'm doing it over here in the ghetto. <laughs> we That's are not right. in the ghetto. We it's right. It started out. It was a small black seed and it was watered. And when that seed was watered, it grew up to be Mario Hemsley. And then the seed wandered around and said, you know, I must make internet television. And so it looked to the left and it looked to the right and it said, who must I ask? And it thought of the other black seed and it went to him, Victor Allen. Uh. And he grew up with hair initially. 
And if Mario said to him, Victor, let us build internet television. And Victor said, ah, yes, let us. And then we said, let us look for people to build internet television with. But we could find no one. No one. We asked many people far and wide, please make shows for our internet television channel. And they said, we don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> so we made this show to show people what shows could be like on the internet. So as crazy as it is, it was only an example, but we didn't know that 2.84 million views later, did you guys know we have like 500,000 views on our active accounts? See, we have so many accounts, some is active, some is inactive. It's sort of like your sex life. <laughs> and how it goes, on and off, up and down. So, remember now that what you're seeing, everything, this setup is our design. There are no camera men. There's no cleanup crew. There are no audio or sound technicians. What you're witnessing is two brothers in the ghetto flying a virtual ship, a ship that we call Mood Control, where our slogan is, ladies and gentlemen, program, deprogram, and reprogram. That's right, that's right. We're coming to you live because this is the Cyber Milky Way. They call me Sir Lollipop Man because I'm chocolate-coated, freaky, and habit for me. No, we don't. Take a lick. Take a lick. <laughs> Do not call We are self-trained. I'm telling you. So this is 90 minutes. And check it out. Full-length versions because we can. Know anybody else putting up hour-long videos on YouTube? These brothers doing it here in the ghetto. Once again, and we extend our empire all the way up and around the world. We got to always acknowledge our GNM Bureau Chief up there in Port Townsend, Washington. Mac McAllister, GNM Bureau Chief. And I'm telling you, Mac is on Facebook. I just couldn't find it. But Mac, <laughs> Mac's on there. He is. And he does the Retro Jazz and Blues, the number one Retro Jazz and Blues show. But remember, DeVoe. Because of people like DeVoe, the Empress, take a look. And what she represents. She represents the new wave of cosmic sensitivity. DeVoe, the Empress DeVoe, part of the gang, the Motley crew, here at Pax Stereo TV, where we say we love doing the impossible, ladies and gentlemen, and we love living the dream. Yeah! yeah. Bring your mama. Yeah! Mama, yeah! Huh! Uh! Uh, kiss one. Commercial. Uh. Commercial. All right. He gets Commercial. away so right. easily, Victor. My God. I'm telling you. Well, we got a commercial. You know, I constantly try to you find. You got a commercial? Yeah, because I found music that I love, and it's free. You know, I always do because it's part of the whole Creative Commons movement. You know, the people who are out there, indie folks who want your attention so bad that they're giving away tracks. You know, for now, until we get known. Okay. And Radiohead did it. We're doing it. Sonic Forger did it. If you watch that Marl Hemsley 55th birthday rebroadcast, it's all music that you can get for free. Well, this piece, too. We're going to take a break and enjoy this piece because we're going to be coming back for something else kind of hot. So enjoy this. This is Sonic Forger featuring Rebecca Law, Fall to Pieces. Ain't that some good stuff? Urban oh. Buff. I want the other one. Oh. Talk about it. Go ahead, Debo. What's wrong with this one? <laughs> because I wanted the I wanted the um the one with the, the video and the something mix version. Oh. Okay. Well, that's okay. Again, like you said, it's just him and Vicky yeah. doing this. So. Oh, I don't mean. put me in it. <laughs> that's the, don't put I me want in. the I'm nostalgia not, mix. I, I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, working it. <laughs> I, mean, I want the nostalgia oh, mix. I'm you trying to find how I can give this world an enema. Oh, God. Well, it's giving itself an enema, trust me. <laughs> With all the earthquake, hurricanes, That's tornadoes, okay. it's pushing its head right on out. Well, see, you know, DeVoe, really what people want to hear about is how we enjoy our, our wonderful life over the weekend, the last several days, today and tomorrow. Nobody wants to hear all that hardship. Tell them how good and great time you had because you know I did. I she went out, out to a really Mac good... Africa event. <clears throat> uh huh. Uh -huh. You want to tell? Them oh, about... I will tell you about. Oh, you that. tell about that while I, I get my video. I walked up to the door, okay, and I said, "Yes, I am on the VIP list." 
and he said there is no VIP list. I said, excuse me? And so then I tried to text my friend who was on the inside, right. and he's like, you can't stand at the door, lady. I said, excuse me? What? I said, I'm trying to get it together. He said, you need to go stand outside. I said, oh, really? So I started walking back to the there's car. There's a brother? There's a brother? No, it wasn't. And I started walking back to the car. So by that time, they called me back. They go, where you at? I said, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm not even going in. The guy at the door was rude to me. How are you dressed? It doesn't matter. And so <laughs> that, man, my man, friend it up to the... I was dressed good. I mean, you I know, mean, what were you showing? Was it, what were you showing? Oh, what? what? <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're trying matter. to get I in the club. I had a moo on. You don't. No, treat you can't me get like in with that. no moo moo. Okay. You can't get in there with no moo moo. <laughs> you know what I said? Did you have all? Like we, were you showing any cleavage? I mean, no, I wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. I was showing my belly button. No. Oh, okay. But anyway, let's see that. <laughs> I don't know. You got to show more today to get in. I, I. Big, you know what? What do we have to show hey, to get in the look, club? Hey, Foreskin. I'm telling you. And sometimes we don't have left. any. Losing hair. That's right. All it's of a hard. sudden. Anyway, my story goes like this. So they went and they talked to that doorman while I was on the phone. Oh. And they said, tell her to come back. I'm really sorry. I didn't realize she was on Mac Africa's list. She oh. was special then. Well, did you, how was the party? I didn't go back. It was you didn't late. go back? It was, I was at my car. I mean, I, you Girl, know, uh-uh. Girl, have they insulted you like that? Exactly. I don't blame you. Mm-mm. All right, Mm-mm. well. But I will go to another party and let you know how that is. So, okay, well, that, that was wonderfully insightful. Yeah. yeah. That's how I, I learned a lot. I don't know about the rest of the people. I went, and I went to another party. <laughs> well, I'll just say this. Mac Africa is known for putting on very organized events. She has hot parties. I mean, she events, ha- yeah, we parties. always go yeah. to her parties. Yeah. Well, good. Check her dormant. Well, here's the proper music track. Okay, remember, what reason why there's two versions. Sonic Forger made two versions of this track. Now, the other part is like a house mix. Right. So I like it, you guys. But you know, I'm older. And like you, I need the mellowness. The mellowness of love. The soft, gentle hand. Like who? Tender, like some of the old other mothers watching the show. I know some of y'all out there. But the young folks don't know what I... But I see they the young folks watch this to learn. Because they tell them, they say, Uncle Remus... <laughs> That's they, that's what they call me. They say, Uncle Remus, <laughs> tell us some of them old lies. And I say, I'll tell you them old lies. I will. Your penis will always stay hard. <laughs> Uncle Remus. <laughs> that's wrong. This is the video you were looking for. I made this mashup for the song. Okay, all right, cool. Since I spoke to you, and I know that there's no rhyme or reason to what you me through so I take your promises and all the memories and I play them back as I can't breathe and you are so captivating and you are the answer to my plea you are And I know of all the pieces when you speak And you are so captivating And you are the answer to my dream You are all around me And I know of all the pieces when you And you 
Right, the sights out the body heat. The nostalgia remix. Sonic Forger. Falling to pieces. I love this track. Featuring Rebecca Law and lead vocals. You know, this is all part of that community. Check it out. Go get it for free. Go get it now on Creative Commons. Go to the site. We tell you we can get it for free. Devo's all through this, huh? This is a featuring a mashup of our recent guests. This is some of the things I do to make videos out of songs. And Thank you, Animoto. In the background. That's Animoto. Animoto. You love Animoto. Give them a plug. Animoto.com. That's right, the site sound about you. It feels like a Monday. It's really a Tuesday. Yes, it does feel like Monday. Yeah, we're deep now. We're we're officially in summer now. You gotta get. I'm, I myself, I'm trying to get a summer attitude now. What kind of attitude is that? What kind of attitude is a summer attitude? It's about sweat. <laughs> it's about sweat. <laughs> you know, we got a whole new project coming up too this summer. I want everybody to be aware. This show is all about telling you what the what we look at, what we listen to, what we think about as we go about preparing for internet television. So stuff is happening. We oh, got look new at music. Yeah. There it is. That, okay, Falling to Pieces, Rebecca Law, Sonic Forger. Nice. You know, uh, you got go show them some love. Get that track. Show them some love there at, at on uh, YouTube. And like we were telling you, we have a whole new series that started. In fact, the way it's going to work is we're going to be bringing out uh, new musical product roughly every month. We've got a, the, the rough versions of a lot of the tracks done. I call it the master of old school series. And what I've done is I've done remakes. of. I picked an eclectic mix of music. An eclectic mix of music. And so uh, we're going to be releasing about every month songs that you'll be able to get on iTunes remakes and uh we'll let you know who the vocal is going to be but i can tell you you're going to like the cuts some of the cuts coming up uh warm weather remake of the of the track by pieces of a dream a hot piece stars in your eyes which is really done by herbie hancock an old etta james piece all the way down uh member serena uh let me be the one we're going to be remaking that uh papa don't take no mess no dignity <laughs> we got a whole group of tracks so uh They'll be coming, and you'll get a chance to... Um, Yo, diggity. No diggity. No, no diggity. <laughs> now, coming no, soon... the remix with Yo, diggity. That shows you coming. she's at the club, but not really at the club. <laughs> coming, <laughs> coming tomorrow, Wednesday, we're going to have Tuesday girl Erica Valdez introducing her new bikini line. Mm -hmm. She's got a new bikini line. I know. It's going to be fun. You know. I can't let that just Mario go. Mario <laughs> and Victor are going to have so much fun tomorrow. So tomorrow, <laughs> on a Monday, 7-Eleven, uh, Katia uh, Corcoran, or, or Corshawn, excuse me, and yep. Chris Carter. Yep. Excuse me. And yep. then on the 18th, Vic, what? Stephanie Blase. And, yep. And Michaela Purcell. That? That's correct. So look oh. at this. We got female energy. They need it. You know, it's all about getting that estrogen in the room. Getting that estrogen into the room, because that's what? what we need. <laughs> and now, without further ado, it's time.